And Russia is doubling down on its insistence that Ukraine is planning to explode a dirty bomb on its own people. Both the U.S. and Ukraine say the claim is patently false. Deborah Alfaron reports from the White House. In a news conference Monday, Russia's foreign minister reaffirmed a Russian claim that Ukraine plans to drop a radioactive dirty bomb on its own territory. We have concrete information regarding Ukrainian scientific institutes having technologies which allow them to make a dirty bomb, said Sergei Lavrov. It's not an unfounded suspicion. But in a televised address, Ukraine's president Volodymyr Zelensky said if Russia calls and says that Ukraine is allegedly preparing something, it means only one thing, that Russia has already prepared all of it. The head of Russia's Radiation, Chemical and Biological Protection Forces warned the dirty bomb is in the final stage of creation, and the Russian military says its forces are ready. A dirty bomb has never been used before. It's not a nuclear explosion and would be far less harmful. But by using conventional explosives to spread radioactive material, it's an effective weapon of terror and could contaminate a city for years. In a joint statement, the U.S., U.K. and France rejected Russia's, quote, transparently false allegations as a pretext for escalation. Now, the U.S. has repeatedly accused Russia of staging violent incidents as an excuse for its invasion what's known as a false flag operation. Russian forces have rapidly lost territory in Ukraine and have recently switched tactics targeting Ukraine's power grid. About 100,000 U.S. troops are in Europe, many participating in NATO nuclear training drills currently underway, some along Romania's border with Ukraine. Deborah Alfaron, CBS News, the White House.